salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. So I invite you to speak that same word of hope and abundance to others by letting your light so shine before people that they will see the goodness of God's work on behalf of the world. Amen and amen. So each week during these four weeks, we're going to take some time to reflect. And we'll have a little music, but I want you to take the little piece of paper out of your bulletin. And if you didn't get one, there are more in the back. Betty would probably bring you one if you raise your hand. But I want you to think about and write down the answer to this question. And I'm really interested in these answers. Where do you see the people around you needing the, the light of Christ in their lives? The people that you deal with every day, where do you see them needing the light of Christ? And when you get done, we, we can put them in the offering plate when it, when it comes around. Amen. Do you have joys or concerns you would like to share this morning? The joy to see so many fresh faces. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a joy to have you all with us this morning to celebrate Leland's baptism. Yay. Other things to share. Explaining about the what Jesus meant, and salt is also an irritant. So if you're not oh. irritating to some people, you're not being a good Christian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so salt is an irritant sometimes. So yeah, you need to be in there and irritating some things around. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. This is uh, Camp Courageous Breakfast this morning. Yes, that's right. Um, so Camp Courageous is having their, is it their waffle breakfast? No, um, 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 omelet breakfast. Okay. What a 
keep them in our prayers. They do wonderful ministry there. If you don't want to go up there, you can come out to my house. <laughs> yes, I understand that, yes. I'm taking eggs at Donnie's. Yeah. <coughs> there won't be such a long line. <laughs> 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 All right, let us let us bow together in prayer. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's sing the third verse. <laughs> Blessed be the tie that binds. We share each other's woes, our mutual burdens bear, and often for each other. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gracious and amazing God, we are thankful for this day. We're thankful for the sunshine, the warmth in the air, and we're thankful that we are able to be here to worship you. God, you give us so many blessings in our lives, the blessings of new babies. We're especially grateful for Leo. And we're grateful, God, that you surround him now with, with friends and family who love him. We pray that we might be this church, this body of Christ, that might help raise him in the Christian faith. God, there are many people here and other places who need the light of your love in their lives. We lift up each one of those who are upon our hearts this morning and those we don't even know about. But we pray that your light might be spread to their hearts, that they might know that they are loved and that they might find their strength and their comfort from you. God, we lift up to you those who are lonely, those who live in fear, those who grieve the loss of a loved one. We pray that your presence might bring them strength and, and a sense of your peace. That we are thankful for this church on this corner, this community of faith. And we continue to open our hearts and minds to your will. We listen as you continue to guide us to be the salt in this neighborhood, to, to bring the light of Christ to others. God, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. And we pray together that prayer he taught his <coughs> disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. And now the best part of the worship service where we get to give back to God. Let us receive our morning tithes and offerings. Yeah. You can put your little piece of paper in the offering plate as well.
this country in 1955. My father worked out for a fellow over by Clarence. And he noticed, as far as you know, there's different things, different countries you know, have going on that isn't the same all over. And he noticed that farmers were putting salt blocks or salt mineral blocks out in the pasture for the cattle. And he just could not understand it. And so he had asked the fellow, why do you keep putting out the salt blocks then? Well, the cattle need it. Well, you see, in Germany, where we are from, Schleswig Holstein, which was probably 10 to 20 miles from the North Sea, it's salt water. So at night, when the dew comes in, you get your pasture spread with salt automatically. The livestock doesn't need it. So it's just one of those things, little changes that you know you have to adapt to as you go from one to the other. And I know some guys. No, I won't go into that part. I better not tell them. <laughs> out here, there's a sign in front of message board. Now it's not a fancy one. After all, it came from Olin, so it doesn't have the electronics on it. <laughs> there's people glaring at me right now. In some of their places. Uh, but anyway, uh, we try to have. It changed, or my wife thinks it should be changed every so often. And we got done with the Easter one, you know, he arose, he arose, hallelujah, he arose. Now I hope you guys, as far as you go by, are paying attention to that sign out there. Because this morning, what it says is, honk if you love Jesus. <laughs> if not, while you're driving, text, and you will get to meet him. <laughs> Praise God from whom all blessings. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray together. Use us, O oh God, in your work of bringing wholeness and salvation to the world. Accept our tithes and our offerings this morning. Fill the members of this church with your Holy Spirit, so that even as we raise our hands in devotion to you, all those around will give praise and glory to your name. Amen. And our closing hymn is Pass It On, page 572.